Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today's video is going to be all about our master closet. Basically we moved in here two years ago and the way I set it up on the day we moved in, that's pretty much how it stayed. I may have added like different clothes and different shoes but the setup is all the same. This week I walked in there and it finally like clicked, the light bulb went off that I was like, I put us on the wrong sides. <laughs> Basically, I need to be on Chase's side and Chase needs to be over on my side. So I'm gonna walk you through it here in a second and kind of let you know what I'm thinking. This is also one of those areas that doesn't seem like it's gonna take long or be that hard because there's no like heavy furniture or rugs or anything like that to move. But I know once you start bringing things out, you find things, there's so much more than you realized. So I'm sure there'll even be some decluttering in today's video. But if you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and check the bell so you get all notifications for any time I upload a video. And now let's go ahead and jump straight into today's video. Okay, so let's head in here and I kind of want to tell you the things I'm going to change, the things I'm not going to change, why it's working and why it's not working. But before we get started, I do want to thank Caraway for sponsoring today's video. If you've never heard of them, Caraway is cookware without the chemicals. So I love that they're non-toxic and I love how aesthetic looking they are. Like I love the design of them. I love how they created them. They would even like beautiful setting out on your countertops if you have lack of storage. They're also non-stick, easy to clean. I'm gonna show you here in a second. I'm gonna fix eggs and you can see that. But what I love is that it comes with storage organizers as well and they're magnetic. So these are never gonna roll around. You're not gonna put them in and they're gonna roll out of it. And if you want gap in between them, like I do right here, you can. I have the space for it. But like I said, they're magnetic so you can actually get close together if you need more space. But they are absolutely gorgeous. So if you're needing something like this or you wanna gift this to someone, click on the link down below in my description box. It has a 10% off coupon code embedded within that link. So all you have to do is click there to shop. And thanks again to Caraway for sponsoring today's video. Now let's talk about some of the things that are working and not working in this closet and why I decided to change it up. So when I first moved in, the right side had um, less clothing storage and I knew I could put in those shoe shelves. Um, so I took that side and then Chase took the other side because he has more clothes. But as I was in this space, I realized it really wasn't working because my mirror was on his side. So we were always getting dressed in the same spot. And then anytime I was doing any videos or taking pictures, all of his items were reflecting in the mirror. It was like his shoes and jacket. So I thought it's time to switch this up so I'm gonna go in and start pulling out all of my items and getting them out of the closet and then I'll slowly move over his items and then I'll put my items away this definitely took a little longer than I was expecting but it was totally worth it and I cannot wait for you to see the end results of this video If you've never seen rods like this, they're actually called seasonal rods. Um, our builder just had them installed when we moved in. We didn't get to pick them, but I'm sure you can order them from somewhere. If you have nice high ceilings, it's a neat way to add extra storage and you can still reach the items that you need to get to. I knew I had items like sitting on the shelf underneath my clothes, but I don't think I realized how much they were really like starting to pile up and clutter was happening because I couldn't see it. So it was actually a good time to go ahead and switch these items since we've been here about two years. 
I haven't really cleaned these shelves in here because we put clothes in and then you put stuff on it. You don't really clean underneath there. So I feel like since it had been two years, it was just a good time. So I was able to a deep clean and then organize the closet how it works best. So if you've been in your home a while, even if your system's working, you might think about just pulling stuff out, getting it clean and then putting it all back in. Let's do a little update. Here are all my clothes that were hanging, plus like my yoga pants and shorts that were on the shelf. So I try to lay them in piles as best I can so they don't get really unorganized. And then in here was some items <laughs> from my shelves. I went ahead and left the shoes in here because I just do not want to be bringing those back and forth several times. I will say since I have less storage, I don't think I'm gonna be able to keep all of them out. So I put all my like summer shoes over here. I'll probably stick them all in this ottoman um, and then I can just switch them out. So like when I need my winter boots and all of that out, I can put the sandals in here. And then when it's summertime, I can put all the boots in here and the sandals out. So that's probably how I'm gonna work that. However, I haven't seen these shelves since the day I moved in because they've been full. And when you get up close, it is so stinking dirty. I should have cleaned this like a long time ago. I like to keep these little bowls in here with like scent booster beads because it makes your closet smell like fresh laundry. So I always have those throughout the space. Now it's all clean and ready to go. I will say most likely I'm gonna be taking all of that down since this is Chase's side, just so it doesn't feel super girly, but I'm just gonna wait for the end to do that. So his stuff, I'm just gonna literally move from here to over here. So I'm not gonna take it all out and like put it on the bed. I'm just gonna like get into organizing it right now. You can really tell I'm trying to process like what am I gonna put where? How much do I have? What is he wearing? What is he not? I finally came to the conclusion like he doesn't wear dress pants every day like he used to or his dress shirt. So I decided to go ahead and put those on that seasonal rack. So when he needs them, he can just pull them down, but it's not something he wears like weekly or anything he needs to reach to every day. As I'm putting his items away, I'm trying to color code it. So when I put my clothes away, it's always color coded. And when I originally put his things away, they were color coded. But now that we both work so much, I really just let him hang up his clothes. Like I'll do all the laundry, I'll get them all laid out, but he'll come and put them away. And he just kind of puts them anywhere. I think he does it more by category. So he had like all short sleeves together and like all his softball shirts and long sleeves. So he had it by category, but then it wasn't color coded. I don't think it'll last this way for a long time, but I think it's just very pleasing to the eye. And it's just nice when you're looking for a blue long sleeve shirt, you know exactly where to go. So if you want to go that far, it is very pleasing and very aesthetic looking, but if that's a little much for you, that's okay. But definitely do it by category just so you kind of have an idea where clothes are in your closet.
If you are short on space or you're just wanting your closet to look very pleasing to the eye, getting matching hangers will solve both of those issues at one time. It's a two for one. So what I love about these velvet hangers is your clothes won't slide off of them and you can fit more clothes on one rod. So they're just super narrow compared to like plastic hangers. So if you're short on space, but you love clothes, definitely consider switching over to these velvet hangers. You don't have to do it all at once, but like once a month, buy some or ask him for like Christmas gifts or birthday gifts. And I promise you when you're done, your closet's gonna look so much better and it's gonna be able to hold so much more clothes. right here that I had short sleeves on one side and long sleeves on the other so the few short sleeves I had put on the left I went ahead and moved over to the right I was quickly reminded why I took this side and I think it's because I think there's more clothing room on the other side now we do have this bar up here I mean we have several bars we could switch to if we have to um, this one's tough because it doesn't pull down. So whatever we put up there has got to be something we don't get too often. So maybe all his dress clothes move over and some of this move up. I'll probably have him help me later, but it's all up there. I'm a little hot. I'm a little sweaty. Now I'm going to start working on his shoes. So Chase may have more clothes than me, but I definitely have more shoes than him. So that was kind of the dilemma. Am I gonna be able to switch our spots? Am I gonna do all this work and have to switch it back? You will find out here in a little bit longer if you stay tuned and don't click off. We are definitely getting there right now. I think what I'm gonna do is take his jeans off the hangers and put them over here like how I used to have them on this shelf just because he doesn't have any room for them. And then I may have to actually hang my pants <laughs> that I normally fold. So I think we're just gonna kind of switch setups and then I've gotta find a spot for his hats. But I feel like right now we're doing pretty good. I got a little nervous for a second thinking it wasn't going to fit, but like I said, I think if I just fold up his jeans right here, that'll work. I don't want to save you, don't want to be strangers, let me feel like you know what to do. Leave your limitations, live and go against them, just let go and start up something new. Cause I know, I know, I know what you planned out, everything that you built up isn't what you want. As I'm folding these, I'm color coding them just like I would the shirts that are up there on hangers. So all his like dark denim I'm keeping together, all the black denim, all the khaki, all the light denim. So just any type of denim, keep them together. Then when you're looking for a pair of jeans or your spouse or partner's looking for a pair of jeans, they can go straight to that pile and they're not all mixed up. I decided to have Chase come in to pull down all of these like bags and boxes. I knew I could grab a ladder, but he could just do it faster than me. Um, so I just had these up there cause I was trying to fill that space. But since Chase is gonna be on the side now, I don't think it's fair to leave like all those bags over there. So he went ahead and took those down. Now I'm gonna finish cleaning up his old side of the closet so I can start bringing in all of my items. And I know, I know, I know the life you're living isn't that fulfilling. Let me help you out. Leave your love on me. Leave your head in 
Just so you know, I wasn't completely finished with his side yet, but I was getting overwhelmed. So instead of just stopping and like staring at the wall, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my side so I can keep moving. When you're doing projects like this, you're gonna get overwhelmed. You may lose momentum. Just kind of shift gears for a second. If you don't know what to do with a few pieces, just leave them there and go to pieces that you do know what to do with and you'll eventually make it back to those other things. Now, once again, I'm organizing my side just like I did his. So I like to organize by category and then by color. So if you just wanna do color, you could keep all your grays together, meaning tank tops, shirts, sweaters, jackets, however you wanna do it. That is the most like visually pleasing to the eye, but I kinda like having like all my short sleeves together and then all my sweaters together. That way when it's like cold outside, I know which section to go to versus when it's warm, but you can totally do it either way, just whatever works best for you. progress update everything's off my bed so that looks like good news but then as you start walking into my bathroom it has not gotten any better it's probably gotten worse and here we're making progress obviously I haven't touched that middle part Chase's area is looking better I still have to find a place for his like belts and hats so I'll get to that point um let me step over here without falling. <laughs> my side's looking a lot better. Um, I'm trying to think what else I need to do. So here's all my pants. I put the shorts underneath um, the sweaters on the shelf. I'm not wearing shorts now anyways. It's cooled off here. And then I think I'm going to put my purses or bags across the top. Um, but probably the next thing I'm going to go ahead and work on is the shelves. Just so I can get some of these shoes off the floor. Because I about tripped several times so far. <laughs> If you're getting stuck and you don't know what to do and you're feeling overwhelmed, the best thing is just to try something, just get started. Just like I started putting these shoes up and then I actually raised all of them up a shelf. But just by getting started gives you a visual idea of what you can do and then you can adjust as you go. Just because you put shoes there does not mean they have to stay there, but just start trying out some different looks. And if you really watch this video, you're gonna see I move a lot of things. I put a lot of things up, I bring them down, I rearrange them you never really get it right the first time so just kind of keep playing around with it Also, think outside of the box when you're kind of decorating your closet. So I've mentioned before, when you're working on your closet, display your items like you would see them in a store, and then it's a little more fun to get ready. You may try new looks out. It just kind of helps you get creative. Another thing is if you keep bags that you like, they don't even have to be designer bags, but any store bags you like, they kind of decorate the space, but you can also use them for storage. So sometimes I keep flip flops in here or extra hangers or just like seasonal items. So you can also make them look pretty, but they can be functional as well.
I am gonna bring in just a few more pieces. A lot of the things I took out, I left out, but what's really nice about this setup is now my like earrings and belts and bracelets, all my accessories are with my necklaces now. So all of it's in one area where I used to have to go back and forth. It never crossed my mind to have it all together. Plus if I'm taking a picture here or filming, it's kind of hidden off in the corner. So I felt like it was the perfect spot. And then now I have this big open space up here. So I'm going to go ahead and just take our luggage and put it up there to fill the gap. And then it's also out of our way. So what I'm gonna try to do now, as much as I love this going across, he's got extra spaces. So I think I'm gonna take out two of these. So then we can add one of the rods back in so he has more hanging space. And I'm gonna see if I can make that work. If not, I'll just put it back. It was actually a little hard to move these, not that they were heavy, but I just loved the look of it. When we moved in and all four of these like Walmart shelves fit here perfect, it was like they were custom built-ins. Like I could not have planned the spacing any better. So it was a little hard to move it because it did fit the space so well. But on this side, I felt like Chase needed an extra bar. So on this side, if I didn't have any of these shoe shelves, we would have two extra bars. So we had plenty of clothing space in here. We just had a lack of shoe space. Um, so keep that in mind. If you kind of have that same issue, you can bring in your own shelves to create spots for your shoes. So taking out that shelf allowed room or shelves, there was two of them, allowed room for his hats. It allowed room for his belts. I love those storage pieces. I'm gonna have those linked down below in my Amazon store just in case you're needing something like that. They also make really good Christmas gifts or Christmas stocking stuffers, so keep that in mind. And now all the jeans I took off the hangers, I'm going to put back on the hangers and hang them back up. Okay, everything's cleared out, <laughs> the bathroom's cleaned up, and the closet looks so much better. So I'm going to show you some clips of how it turned out. But before I end this video, I do wanna share just a few organizing tips for your closet just so you guys can use them. I like to get shower hooks to hang my necklaces just so they don't get tangled. And then for like earrings and bracelets, I like to get these clear organizer bins just so I can see exactly what's inside of them. And then I always pick up these little cube storage bins from Walmart. They're super affordable. You can stack them up and down, side to side. And then and I always love keeping a small dresser here in our closet because when we get out of the shower, I come straight in here. So this is where I keep like my bras and my panties and my socks and just things um, to get ready with and chase as well. That way we don't have to go into our bedroom. We just have everything we need in here. And then over on Chase's side, um, wood hangers always look nice. So for like his nicer pants and jeans, I like having those. But these hat organizers, are amazing because I feel like men just stack their hats up and then they don't know what they have but with these they can actually see and they go on any hanger so you can get as many as you want and then they can match your hangers we also have a belt organizer as well so I will have all of that linked for you but just doing little tweaks like that can just give you so much storage. And with shoes, I could have fit more on here, but I'm not a big fan of like turning a shoe. I know it gives you more space, so I'm gonna show you. If you have a lot more shoes, um, I could fit like another whole 
pair there. So I could add four or five pairs to all these shelves. I just don't prefer that look, but that is an option if you need to create more space in your closet. Okay guys, we did it. It looks so much better. It feels so much better. I cannot believe I didn't do that from the get go, but you know when you're moving in, it's just crazy. And what made sense then didn't make sense now. So I'm glad I tackled that project. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thanks again to Caraway for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use our link down below in my description box. If you use that link, the code is embedded in it. So make sure you click on that. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye. So you gotta smash like, subscribe